The 2024 presidential election is just over 100 days away, but will Biden bowing out of the race have an impact on preparations? I spoke with the Ottawa County Clerk to find out. How we plan has not changed. President Biden's Sunday announcement came and went. It was business as usual Monday at the Ottawa County Clerk's Office. Our process going forward uh, will remain the same. State law requires a major party's presidential and vice president candidates be certified to the state one business day after the party's national or state convention. So this year's deadline for the Democrats is August 26th. It is a very time intensive process and it's also a process with very limited uh, time in between deadlines. So federal law requires that we have to have ballots on hand for our military and our overseas voters 45 days prior to an election. This year, that date is September 21st. Clerk Justin Roebuck says even if the president didn't step down, they were always going to have less than a month to finalize the November ballots. So we're really looking at a period of time that has not yet happened. So we, we are still in the process of anticipating those conventions. Um, obviously, the national convention is the one that uh, will choose which party nominees go forward. Roebuck says a concern for him is a last-minute election lawsuit being filed. That would make getting the ballots finalized difficult. And those can always be challenging moments, too, because there is, again, that limited time frame yeah. in between the, the time where we receive all the candidate information and the time where ballots actually have to be printed and produced. And so those can be stressful moments for election administrators. One thing for certain, this is now an unprecedented presidential election. Roebuck is confident that his office is ready for whatever. You know, the public can rest assured that whoever the convention selects, uh, you know, we will have enough time and the process will still be in place to place that name on the ballot so that every voter is going to be able to have a ballot and cast their vote. Now, don't forget, before the November election is the August primary. That's happening on August 6th with early voting starting this weekend. Roebuck says they are ready. In Ottawa County, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.